First Lady of Nigeria, Olu Tinobu, has visited the state government and also sympathized with the people over the flood incident that affected more than a million people. The First Lady donated 500 million naira to support government relief efforts. Senior reporter Jesse Tafida has details. Nigeria's first lady, Senator Oluremi Tinubu, is represented here by wife of the vice president, Nana Shetima. Her visit is to commiserate with the government and people of the state over the flood disaster. According to her, the devastating news of the flood bleeds her heart as women and children were severely affected, displacing them from their homes. The mother of the nation said that you are in her prayers and trust. And inshallah, we are all going to rally around you to complement the good work that you are doing to the good people of Burma State. The First Lady presented a check of 500 million naira courtesy of the Renewed Hope Initiative. Meanwhile, Governor of Katina State, Dick Kurada, also visited the state to sympathize with the people over the incident. He also donated 100 million naira to support victims of the flood. It is a disaster that has shaken the country and it is something that we felt as a government and as people of Katina State who are brothers to the people of Katina State to come with this powerful delegation to sympathize with you and to pray for the souls of those who departed as a result of this. I want to assure you that we are behind you. We remain a kind of effort to all of you for this very important visit. And we all met up in the city and we really want you to have a And we believe in the long run, this support will reduce poverty in the state and create jobs. As the day ends, Chinese companies working for the state government also brought a donation of 70 million naira to assist the government. Jesse Tafida, TVC News, Maiduguri. Jesse joins me now with more updates from Medigari, more support pouring in for the state government. What are the highlights from this latest visit, Jesse? Thank you very much, Nifemi. Uh, the highlight getting from Bruno State is that the state government is really appreciative of all the donations it received from government, from um, organizations, and from individuals. Now, the government is saying that it's going to use this um, funds judiciously to take care of um, the victims of the insurgency and the flood disasters. I'm sorry. And now, the latest we're getting from the government is that it says that all camps will be closed closed in the next two weeks. This is because most of the camps are schools and then it wants the students to be back to school. Uh, we know that the education sector was the worst hit by insurgency and Boko Haram it means edu Western education is being forbidden and that is why the state government is, uh, is taking a step on taking all the students back to school and camps will be closed and then the people will be back to their homes. According to the flood disaster risk assessment team, a set of by government is that all homes that were submerged uh, would be taken care of. The state government is going to assist people in rebuilding their homes and then uh, they want people to stay in their homes, not in the camps because if people continue to stay in the camps, now the aspirations of the Zulu administration of closing down all camps, it's not going to be feasible and that is why all uh, victims would need to go back to their houses. Now, um, another, the data we are getting from the state government is that 32 camps were open, 300 thousand 
p uh, household were registered and then 600,000 people are living in camps and women and children are the most vulnerable that is why government is concerned about their health care and it says that they are supposed to go back because states across the northeast region have recorded cases of um, cholera outbreak and that is why the government doesn't want this to happen to the number of people living in camps that is why it's moving, taking a step to close down the idps uh, other sad stories we're getting also from the commissioner for information and internal security is that um the Borno State Police Command, together with the Borno, Borno Command of the Nigerian Security and Civil Defense Corps, the civilian JTF and other security operatives, that a lot of persons have been arrested. Um, allegedly, they, are, they break into people's homes that were submerged and are catering away with their goods. And these people are in the custody of the police. That is why the government is saying people need to go back to their houses. They are not going back empty-handed, according to the Commissioner for Information. They are going back with food items, with cash assistance, and then those that their businesses that were being lost. The, the Northeast Development Commission yesterday donated three billion naira for traders. Uh, it will support them. It will make them to be back to, uh, on their feet, according to the NEDC. Now that's the latest we are getting. And for the president's wife's visits today, uh, she says that she's together with the Borno people. She assured that the Tinubu-led administration will do all it can to ensure that the victims of the flood uh, are, are, are being cared, cared for and then they will be back and then Borno State will be rebuilt according to the First Lady Nifemi. Senior reporter Jesse Tafida live for us in Madagari.